All righty, class, and we are now, we have arrived at the moment for um, an episode. We have had, um, up to this point, we have had motive, imitation of motive. Our motive is then sort of moved back up there almost, and then another imitation. So we've had this string of imitations. In measure five, we then move to what key? Hello? Ray sharp, we move to me. So now in me, we do the same exact thing on me, upside down. So this motive, the right hand motive is now left hand, and the right hand is doing the imitation following. And we finish that off. So we've got a very satisfying little, um, little exposition here. And now we can move right into, uh, why don't we move into an episode? So um, let's listen to what we have here. The notes, the next notes, are pretty obvious, I think. We need a me because we have our leading tone there. And we're going to go to a sol here. So let's go to sol sharp me. Now, um, for our episode, remember that it's really interesting when we use bits and pieces of our motive uh, as our sort of episodic material. We construct our episode by chunk cutting up little chunks of it and using them kind of over and over in an obsessive kind of way, right? It's a, it's a, it's a nice way to get our, um, to, to have our episode kind of run, and we sort of use it to make sequences. So what if our soul, wait, what if we just put our motive there again, right? Why not? Soul, soul, fa, soul. Now how about this? Do, not that do, this do, the lower do. I just lowered it by an octave. So let's put it there. Let's put our articulations on it so it sounds right. Sol, sol, fa, sol, do. Now, so let's make that a do. Let's have that be imitated up here. To me. I like this. Watch this. Me. Let's tie this me to another me. Me, me, re sharp me. Um. Mm -hmm. Let's make this a fa, and then if that's a fa, this could be really pretty if this was a do, fa, mi, fa, and then what? Oh, sorry, wrong notes. Mi, mi, re, mi, do, fa, mi, fa. Um, no, that is right. Do, fa, mi, fa. Yes, and then fa re sharp. Oops, sorry, re sharp. Okay, so now we have this. Let's keep this sequence going. It's going to change places here, so let's go do so C. Let's put the articulation on it. C, C, um, let's go, why don't we do this, why don't we move to C, C, La, sharp C, so, C, 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 La, Sol, so we've, we've kind of quickly moved right through, um, um, right into, uh, C here. So we've moved to our five of our five successfully. So we're now on our two. Um, now um, let's continue this motive. So uh, me, uh, let's do it in quarter notes. So we're continuing. You see what we're doing? We're continuing. Oops, sorry, I made a mistake. Need to undo a few times. Um, so this is do do fa. Um, C, me, let's make it a quarter note, me, so, and we can, C, C, La, C, me, so, La, La, so we then want to, if we want to keep that going, La, oops, La sharp, please, La, La, so, sharp, La, sharp, Ray sharp down below. 
You can say quarter note. Quarter. Re sharp. Now watch this. We need to do fa double sharp. So we're not fa double sharp. Fa, I'm fa sharp. Fa double sharp. So we need to go over here. Look at this menu. Boop. We go to this. These are the various menus, okay? FYI. So these are where your notes are under this menu, under this menu, more notes. Look, you get a little primer if you hover your thing over it. Here, you can do funky things with beams. Here, there's some symbols you can use. Here's some jazzier symbols. And then here's like the funky accidental. So here's our double sharp. Boom. Oops. My note is not selected. Note that my carrot is not on the note. My carrot is, this is the next note. So it's telling me, I, when I hit this, I'm telling the computer that I want the next note typed with that carrot to have a double sharp. That's not what I want. That was a mistake. So I'm going to use my arrow key to move my carrot back onto this note that I want to modify. And then I'm going to double sharp that note. There we go. Mm -hmm. Now I go soul and look what's happened we've arrived at the relative minor of B okay that's kind of cool so let's flesh this out so let's keep this this sequence going so from here let's do the same thing as we did before let's tie it to a 16th note Oops, so, sorry, I messed up. Frame shift. Do, re, do, re, si, mi, re, mi. And now on to Do sharp. And we'll do the same thing. Tie it to the 16th note. Do, do, sharp, si, do. And then we need to go, we have La sharp in here, right? La sharp. Um, re sharp. Oops, re is sharp. Uh, sorry, frame shift again. Do, do, si, do. La sharp, re sharp, do sharp, re sharp. Now, there. So let's listen to our sequence from leading into it by one measure. Oops, we forgot. Poor Bach had to go through this very carefully. We can just use playback. He had to have his 28 children proofread his music. Good, let's go to the top. Let's listen to this thing all the way through and hear how convincing this is. Aha, uh -huh. and what do you think is going to happen right here? So let's have our, let's move back into emotive mode. So, so, uh, now we need to have our fa double sharp because we have moved into sol sharp minor. Fa double sharp, now back to sol re sharp. Da 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 dum, da 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 dum. So we are now, um, we can now do exactly the same thing we've been doing before. So we can have do, uh, sorry, so we can go up to C or we can go down to C. We can make the octave with the leap down. So, uh, oh, sorry, that's not where we want. We want to rest there. And we want C, I'll put the C lower and then, hmm, oops, sorry, another rest. Oops, sorry, another rest. And on B3, we had Re sharp, Fa. So now it's starting to look just like our first measure, except in Sol minor, right? So, so Sol sharp minor, sorry. La, mm -hmm. Si, La, Do, 
Nazi. Nazi. So let's, I'll let's play the sequence into that. Okay, and there we go, we're back. So now we move it. So um, I will hit save. Boop. And that's not too bad, right? We're, we've been able to do something. I mean, obviously the great JS Bach did this with exquisiteness that we can only aspire to. Um, and he could probably dash one of these off over lunch. So uh, it's taken us a little bit more time, but you do see that it's doable, right? We can follow our keys, we can just play with these motives, we can patch holes, we can fix things that seem unsatisfying, but luckily we have Sibelius to help um, play things back for us, um, which makes the process move along faster for us. So I hope this has been a helpful guide to getting started on your inventions.